black sprinter, windows on max tenor, mad sinner, sweating like it's past winter, no witness, offshore tax printer, try following the money with the bag quicker. If he a rat, kill him, bodies in vast rivers, the strap widow of a blood more than Dracula, count of wind ass spinners, pack flipper, that's the block jack ripper, body bag zipper, trash bucket. Welcome to the Grey House Podcast, I'm Junk, this is my co-host. Sean, it's my co-host DJ, DJ Invisible. 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 Anyways, um, we got a very particular guest today, yeah. but I'm excited. Yeah. I don't know if I like him. Hey, you better introduce me good. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a nice okay. little introduction yeah, real proper. quick here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyways, one of the people that we got has got a million subs on YouTube. Yep. Uh, hey, th- some big nice. numbers. Three hundred million, a million subs on YouTube. Three hundred million views. Jesus. I mean. The list goes on, but Seth Rogen follows him, so he's got to be funny <laughs> looking or some shit. Nelk boys follow him. Fuck. It's Little Windex, man. Make some noise for Little man, Windex make some real noise quick. Little Windex. Yeah. Everyone's welcome here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's hey. welcome here. But, but we got two. We got a tandem oh, today. Oh, we got yeah. viral, we got two internet. They're both viral characters, sensational yep. fucking people that have just taken the internet by storm. Wait, I mean, side neck. Side neck, we got TikTok. Tell me about He's got 2.5 million followers Jesus. on TikTok. Yep. He's got 200 million views and counting. He's got 100 million views and counting on YouTube. Fuck me, and you are doing something wrong. But yeah, just we, like peasant, all he is is peasant numbers. This, this is the, the like presence of number royalty. This is this is this is this is this is killing it. Yeah. This is like we're like Muppets. Uh, we're, are we the Muppets of the day? Anyways, we oh, got motherfucking here. Little Windex and Side Neck. Make some noise. Let's, Let's make go. some noise, for the boy. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah, but I can't clap. Thank you for being here. <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. Oh God, my. I give him Dutch letters. <laughs> okay. Well, you know Speaking okay. of you not <laughs> clapping, <laughs> what the fuck happened to you? Oh shit. Like, why are you not like? What's up with your arm? Yeah, you're not just being rude wrong? over no, here. Yeah, right? yeah. You're not just being rude or something. Like, what? Let's dig into it. Like, what the fuck happened? Oh, he's um, yeah. Oh. But cripple? You are cripple. I do no, have the parking for it. Fuck, dog. No, I got front row parking. Like shit. nobody can beat that. Let him know. All right, so <gasps> just do the story. Or I just what? I heard that you hit a motherfucking moose. Well, technically it hit me. Okay, fair enough. So <laughs> like, technically, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. All right, so April Fool's Day, 2010. Oh, fuck. Oh, I was driving. Uh, it was like 1:30 in the morning, um, and I hit a 1,200-pound moose in a little Hyundai Tiburon, and Shut it. it Hyundai. <laughs> It's a durable yeah. fucking uh, it came through my front windshield uh, laid on me. Its head went back to the spoiler, broke its back. Oh. I bounced off the guardrails three times and launched about 300 meters into a swamp. And when all that was happening, when I broke its back and not in a good way, um, it hit kicked it with a back shot. Dog. <laughs> yeah. Back shot wishes that thing had off. Mm. Oh. It was a biggie. I do like the big ones, um, but uh, it kicked me in the face. So it like broke my neck in three spots, broke my Pow! back in two, broke my face in five, broke two ribs, two ribs punctured both my lungs, deflated my lungs, filled them up with blood, and then I drowned in my own blood. I was dead for about 10 to 15 minutes. I was pronounced dead on scene. I paralyzed Holy my God. right arm because uh, I uh, it took the so main nice. nerve Holy. that controls my right arm out of my spinal cord. And then my buddy heard like all the paramedics saying whatever they were saying. He freaked out, came over, punched me in the chest, and like shook me. And I spit blood everywhere and came back, I guess. And uh, punching you when you were like, dead just, brought you back. Just hit me in the chest, I guess. Like from what I know, and I don't know nothing, so yeah. it's just what I'm told, no, right? Shut up. That, that might have been the thing that like fucked his spine up. <laughs> like they're like you completely actually fine, you, and then I'm like chill, like fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, dog, chill on the Mike Tyson. Oh, hit him the once. It's been enough. Dog. Seen an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I was airlifted to Toronto Hospital. I was in there for about two and uh, a month and a half in um, like uh, critical thing. I was on. Yeah, uh, yeah ICU. Type yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in. Uh, I was two weeks induced in coma because they didn't want me to move. They didn't know what was really wrong with yeah, me. Yeah. Um, and then cause like my injury, either you're paralyzed from the neck down or you're dead. Yeah. There's never really been Anytime. anybody that like has like survived or moved. And then like, luckily I can, yo, don't touch the still. nipple. Don't Sorry. touch the cripples. Nipple. Free the nipple. <laughs> nipple, here, nipple. Dog. Cripple nipple. Hey man, just cause my nipple likes to fucking chain out. Doesn't, you don't have to hate it. Jesus. Can you feel your nipple? 
That's fucked up, man. I'm glad the cameras are covering that shit. Kind of. Are they? Kind For of. For me, it's like, my perspective. It's oh. like all of this is, it's like all of this is still numb. Yeah. Like, so it's like all the way to the back. So like, kind of, it's like a, it's like a Anything. not hurt me. <laughs> Kind of hurt me, kind of thing. Did you see some shit when you were dead for ten minutes? Yeah. What did you see? What was that time like? Um. Okay. So, yes, I guess, but I don't know if it's like when I was like quote dead or if it was when I was like in my coma. Yeah. So like, in from what I remember, I woke up and I was still in the in the swamp. I had two people in the car with me. Yeah. And buddy in the front seat had a scratch behind his ear. Guy in the back Jesus, had it. seven Must stitches be nice, in his head. Right? Yeah, a fucking scratch <laughs> right? behind his ear. Um, thankfully, I'd rather have it that way and them not like this. Um, <laughs> Real talk. Fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. But so I drove out of the swamp mm. and then we went to our buddy's house and we were all drinking. At that time, I didn't drink at all. So it was like, that was weird. And then we never hung out at that guy's house. And then... I was like, oh, I'm tired. I need to pass out. And I remember like going into his house and it was like all hospital beds. I was like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, my dad got a deal, but he had to buy them all to get the deal. And I was like, okay, that's fucking weird. Yeah. I'm like, all right, cool. Like, whatever. I it just want to sleep. Yeah, yeah. So I remember laying down on the bed and then I had like three or four friends around me and they were trying to put an IV in me. And like, I don't know about you guys, but if your friends are around you trying to stick a needle in you when you're trying to go to sleep, you're probably not having it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had and them like, around trying to stick other things in. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Spit or lube. Okay. Well, anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah, every... Uh, <laughs> Every it's gonna um, be a fun episode, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Chad Cougar's so like, crazy let's dog. go, Chad. <laughs> I, I I just remember like, I finally was like, okay, screw it. I'm like, my car's right there. I'm completely fine. Yeah. And like every time I had like these, I guess you'd call them visions. Yeah. Would be, I'd always see my car, and like my car's front bumper was hanging off, and I was like, whatever, put it in me. And like, oh, no, no pause. pun intended. Pause. Uh, that's what he says to Windex all the time. <laughs> hey, hey, no. Don't tell our secrets. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Well, well, we will. <laughs> um, so then I remember I passed out. Little. <laughs> Shut the fuck gang. up and let him tell his story. Right. God damn it. Hurry up then. Tell your fucking story. I'm crippling. I got a brain injury. Sorry, he's, he's a bit slow, me. bro. Yeah. Like, oh, God. Been yeah, got oh, yeah. Me. I had a brain injury and bleeding in my brain, too, by the way. Yeah, he if you didn't know that. Fuck yo. God. Yo. God. I'm not supposed to have really good cognitive thinking. I kind of like this guy, but this guy's an asshole. He dog. Kind of. Yeah. Oh, I care. We got but you know what? I, I'd up, be an so. asshole too if my rap name was Junk. Yeah. He's like, oh, shit. And he's like, come on now. Anyways. Anyways. Um, Thanks for buying my album and coming to my, all my shows. I'm never Colorado. buying your album. <laughs> we didn't buy his album. I never <laughs> bought his album. Wasn't I see this case? guy supporting, hater, getting the merch and shit. <laughs> That's cool. Like. I wouldn't even take it for free. Yeah, um, his brain is clearly <laughs> fucked, but go ahead with Yeah, your... I got kicked by a moose. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. What do you expect? Sorry. Yeah. Can I finish my story? Finish it. It's like I'm I want trying. to laugh, but then he says kicked in the head by a moose, and then I'm like, shit, dog, yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad. Yeah, I'm sorry, blah, blah. Here's a free juncture. <laughs> <laughs> Sick, I got something to wipe my ass with. <laughs> <laughs> you mean he has to wipe your ass with it? Same thing. Hey, bro, I gotta help a bro out when he's down and out, you know? <laughs> no, fair, 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 fair. So, and then I remember I woke up in the hospital, like the actual hospital, and then they put me back out, mm -hmm. and then I, I woke up in fucking Lebanon. Le <laughs> and what? it was, yeah. Lebanon? Lebanon. Like, cause it Why was. The fuck did you wake up? I don't know. Fire? Okay, so this is the hallucination, right? Yes. No, this okay, is, I was because like, like fuck, this, this is this is how we transferred him to Lebanon. <laughs> what the fuck is this our healthcare system, dog? <laughs> <laughs> right, so, I know Trudeau's fucking shit up, but dog, you <laughs> end up in Lebanon. That's crazy. So like, fuck. this is how me and my family kind of figure of why I had that is because so I woke up in the hallway on a bed, and like it was all like. You didn't even get a bed. Like it was well, yeah, I'm fucking. Out in the hallway, though. They I, left. I, I don't know. It was a fucking vision. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I'll be it wasn't thing. real. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, still like, in the dream world. I, ju I just, I remember I woke up and it was like all like colored people and they weren't speaking English. Whoa. <laughs> I'm Black not... History Month, dog. I, oh, shit. Shut up, February. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. It's it. almost anyway, over already. <laughs> it just started. You, oh, you're okay. almost anyways, over. Anyways. Um, no, but, um, so <laughs> nobody was speaking English and it really messed me up. And then, my cousin's wife starts walking towards me and she's a nurse in real life. 
And I'm like, what the fuck are we doing here? And she's like, what are you doing in Lebanon? I'm like, what are you doing in Lebanon? <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I, what are you doing here? I'm like, well, my car is crashed. And there was always a big picture window and my car was outside. What the fuck? And I'm like. So I, you I, knew, though, in this vision, like, you knew your car had crashed. And you yeah, knew, yeah. You kind of think, because, yeah, like, yeah. it was right there. Yeah. And, like, the bumper was hanging off just like the first one. Yeah. And then next thing I know, I wake up and, like, it's all my family around me. And, like. Then I'm back to real life. All of life, a sudden, you're just world. snap back. Yeah. Yeah. And how long had it been? Snap back. Um, yeah. probably about two weeks, two and a half weeks Jeez. of like when I finally started being coherent and yeah, like yeah. able to like say things and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I guess like the first thing I started asking, I was like, "How's my car?" Yeah. And they're like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> they're like, "You what worry do you about mean? your car, bro? Yeah, you got bigger yeah. issues." They're like, "You're in <laughs> Lebanon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Oh, it's written off," and I'm like, "Oh, damn it!" Hmm. I'm like, "I gotta get another one." And they're like, wait, what? Why do you need another one? I'm like, I don't want to sit at home. I'm like, that's dumb. Like, I'm not, not about that. Never was about that, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, I just, like, I had to relearn how to walk because um, I was in there for, so, like, in the bed for so long. Like, yeah. when I got up, I just, just atrophied like. atrophied everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, yeah. I was just done. And, like, they didn't even think I could walk. I guess, like, the doctor with the pin thing was testing. Yeah, to see if you're getting Yeah, and like, I guess yeah. I kicked at him, and like, it was just like, well, that's John, crazy. can I stop texting and fucking pay attention? Bro, to shut the fuck shit? up. Yo, he I'm really traffic. does not give a fuck yeah, about disabled I'm li- people, I'm Actually, yeah. I'm inquiring about what you're adding you to my story. Against cripples? Yeah, he really does. Cool. He hates that we get front row parking. Bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> BIP lifestyle, baby. <laughs> no, 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 continue. I'm, I'm doing my job. Continue. <clears throat> I'm trying to do mine, too. Um, no. <laughs> was interrupted by this fucking clown. I don't know. So. I, I talk, I guess. So I am a better rapper than you. It's unfortunate. We're it's all good, anyway. bro. We're going to have a rap it. battle by the end of this fucking oh, that, Is this one of these podcast, episodes where we can fucking have a freestyle battle? Then, this is one of the episodes we can all fuck with each other. Okay. <laughs> he's scared. <laughs> he's, he's very scared. So it, it, Finish that, this that fucking sounds, story, bro. Real, real quick, that, that's rare to have your have a break like that and not be paralyzed from the neck down. Or yeah, like, dead. they've ne- at crazy. that time that it happened, it was, like, 2010. Yeah. They'd never really dealt with that, so they didn't know how to deal with it. Mm. That could um, be a story phase. Pretty much. It's, like, 14 years ago. Shit. Damn, dude. Yeah. That's what... April like, Fool's Day, this would be It's almost coming up to 14, yeah. Yeah. So... But then, just... I know we're still on the shit. Like, what did you say? Four or five months later? Uh, oh, that's... yeah, six... This is so, fucked up. Yeah. Okay, so I most people don't know this is that like six months later in the exact same spot I was coming back from a tattoo appointment and my mom was driving and a ten point buck like a big deer jumped out in front of us and rode off her car Are you... and then like in I the hopped, same area exact literally same I hopped spot. out of the car and I looked around I'm like oh I'm like mom I crashed over there she's like I know I'm so sorry and I'm like no it's fine it's not your fault that the thing jumped in front of us I'm like. Shit. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. And then that's uh, crazy. crazy. <laughs> and then oh, it like, gets even better. Way, Listen yeah. to the next part. And then like one year later, on the exact same day that I hit the deer, I hit a wolf and rode off another same car. Spot, Why do you keep with, driving there, is, Doug? Yeah. Bro, it's the only said, road home. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, was like, Yo, I, I lived in the bush, road, bro. So. I lived in the bush in I'm Ontario. Okay. So. Fair enough. At least he's going smaller and smaller. Yeah. Yeah. You're working your way down. You hit a squirrel next. Wolf. Hopefully. Maybe like a house cat or something. I did hit a dog, but I just felt really bad about that. I, well, it hit but me. That one was on purpose. Though. No, no, it ran out. Yeah, it, like, oh, what up, Scruffy? Now every year he's looking for something on the road. Yeah, I felt so see. bad. Like a deer, a moose, a wolf, whatever. But you got a body count. We were asking about that last night. What's your body count? Yeah, three. <laughs> <laughs> He's about to catch a sentence for murder, dog. He's out in these streets. On the, he's spinning the block he's on out these fucking these livestock. Yeah. When I spin the block, they run. <laughs> he, spun a, crazy, he spun the bro. block three times. No, there was nowhere though. to park. That's like, fucked up, that though. Fucked. Yeah. Like, that's actually fucked yeah. up. Yeah. But, like, the amount I drive, it was bound to happen that I got in some sort of accident. I mean, not right? really. Of course. Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. Like, I've been driving. I've never hit nothing. But, yeah, but statistically, it makes sense. Like. But statistically, the chances of you surviving the first one, oh, yeah. and then you put that onto three years of consecutively hitting other animals oh. in the same. Like, what's the statistic of chance of that? I, I know. probably like the Vegas very low. odds though are high. Yeah, <laughs> like, an anomaly. No. yeah, like yeah. It, it, it's it's weird. Like, yeah, because like with the head injury I even had, like yeah. I'm not even supposed to be really be talking. Yeah. Like I'm supposed to be like a 
a but, vegetable yeah. kind of thing. You it's know? supposed to be a bean. A bean. A veggie. <laughs> look like you. Well, we're glad you're alive to tell your story. <laughs> Appreciate it. Glad you're alive to tell your story. This, that's incredible. Yeah, but straight bro. up, though. That's, Actually, that's no, incredible, I, man. And, like, I'm happy to be alive because, like, yeah. it took me a while. Like, you get, like, it's not like I was like, oh, yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was at the beginning, it was more like, yo, why me? Yeah. You know? And then afterwards, it was like, Yo, I'm actually lucky. Yeah. Like, I'm very lucky, like, to be in the position that I am in, yeah. and like, especially the position that Windex has given me with yeah. like social media platform mm. and everything. Let's get it's into like, that. Like, yeah. like, so out of this fucking, you know, borderline almost tragedy, almost died, then yeah. turned it into this really negative experience where you blood. really turned it, you know, yeah. got blessed. Yeah. Let's just, turned it just into to a be blessing. frank. Just to be frank and real here for a minute, got yeah. blessed. Yeah. How did you guys create this whole thing? When did this start? What was the vision? How, like, just yeah, yeah, give like, us a breakdown of that. Because you guys yeah. together on camera like this, speaking about it, I, I've never seen it. I've never, I mean, I didn't, this guy hasn't been around in a fucking minute. I, he yeah, just made know, his reintroduction. Are you coming all, back? Yeah. First this of your, all. What was going on? He's been hiding in the closet. Yeah, there's this whole situation over there that I'm not sure about. I've been hiding in the closet. <laughs> we <laughs> we all now, baby. Woo! <laughs> 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 2024. Yeah. So but, wait, who's, um, who's this guy? You can. Well, like, yeah. I mean, you've been talking for a lot. Yeah, so. yeah. How the okay, like? Well, yeah, really explain. How did you have the vision to you know? When I was this? on, I was on tour and when? What year? It was 2019. Because 2019, I was in. No, I swear. Five years after my accident. No, it was 2019. It was on Merck's tour well, when I came off, out. First off, I met him in 2013 on Snack. No. Tour. Yeah. 13. Yeah. In no. the Toronto club with no, the little fucking. Shout out to Snack. That was 2015. Merck. 13, bro. 100%. 15, because I didn't start working with SDK happen. until 2014. Okay, whatever. Maybe he's telling the truth. I, wanted, <laughs> I don't remember the fucking years, dude. 2015. too much Windex, bro. My brain's yeah, fucked. Anyway. Clearly. <laughs> I met this guy, and at first, I saw him, and I was like, this dude got shot up. Like, something right. fucked up with him. Yo. I, he, I, you know, you see the head tats, you see all the shit, yeah. and he's just sitting there, like, quiet as fuck. I'm like, damn, like, this guy's on some gangbanging shit. He got fucked up. That wasn't the case. He hit a moose. And, uh, mm -hmm. but... We, we became acquaintances, and then 2000, and I swear it was 18, maybe 19, 19, I was out in the East, where he's from, yeah. and I was on tour, and he pulled up to all the show. He was that was 2018. Around. You were kind of driving around. I was, I was driving And he had all around. the weed. This motherfucker had every time you needed, you're like, yo, join. He said, got it. He had a little minion actually with him, <laughs> yeah. and his little minion would twist all the doobies, and he'd sell, he'd slang shoes out the back of his whip. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But yeah. he'd drive us around. He'd be like, "Yo, I bought a pair at one of my shows." He'd be like, "Yo, you need some Yeezys? You need some Jordan Fours? You need this? You need that? You need weed?" But anyways, he was cruising around, and then that's when we became tight. We became like bros, and I learned I can fuck with him because I actually talked about his accident. I'm like, and then we just, y'all know my personality. I don't give a fuck. So we learned to fuck with each other. Then he was on tour with Mercules. 2019. 2019, and he came. He went from the east back to the west, as I, I was doing kind of the opposite. Well, no, I? you. So what happened was, you were on tour, and then I jumped on Merck's tour. Yeah. So he was on with me on tour, and then I finished tour when Merck started tour. Yeah. So I flew back home, and then Merck's tour went the opposite way of mine, back west. Mm. And so Sidenek ended up back in Kelowna, where I was living at the time, and then he was like, "Yo." I'm going to chill here for a bit. Can I come kick it at your crib? And I was like, sure, I got an extra room. Come stay here for a bit. And then that was at the time when, like, long neck and wide neck and all these neck motherfuckers were on Instagram. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I kind of looked at they him. Were really, they were really neck the and neck. the neck boys and the Yo, neck boys. They were yeah, just, yeah, everybody dude. was necking out. And I kind of <laughs> looked at him, and he's living at my house, and I'm, like, doing my own shit. But I was like, fuck, you're a neck too, dog. I was like, I don't know if you're a busted neck, if you're broken neck, you're side neck, whatever you are, but then that hit. Was, right, I was like, side right. neck, and he's like, that's it. That's it. So and you I were just said, clowning, oh. and then it, it came out. It was literally said, like five minutes of being at your house yeah. when we went and smoked a joint, and then I was like, what can we do with this neck thing? Yeah. And I and remember I like, you being like, mean? how far can I go with it? And I'm like, you'll never offend me. And he's like, Give that. me a minute. <laughs> like, so I started cooking. him an Instagram yeah. page, and I think within the first couple of days, we had like 24 20, hours. 20,000 followers. 24 hours, we had 15,000 followers. Man, we need to talk to our born. social media guy. What yeah, the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I'll speak to him. I can probably take him a thing or two. Yeah, please do. So anyways, yeah, within 24 hours, I mean, he had a decent little following already, and I knew instantly I could make something yeah. good out of this, especially with him being down for whatever. Yeah. You know, it's harder when, like, somebody's not like, oh, you know, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that. Sign up was fucking no, down No ego, just like, yeah. just no get it. No ego, no nothing, shirt yeah. off, fucking Let's whatever. Fucking go. 
and uh, boom. Just I mean, it really took off when we started kind of like TikTok. Like his yeah. Instagram was always yeah. great and always popping, but we started TikTok, and I think we did a million followers in the first, first month. month. Jesus. Yeah. Well, we did. T- so we well, did, did seventy five thousand, but then they deleted. Yeah, we did seventy five thousand in like four That's or five insane. days, That's and insane. then the, the account got banned. And yeah. then I'm Why like, did the TikTok yeah. account got banned. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Why did they ban you? I, I don't always. Understand we don't even shit. really know. I think yeah. it was like bullying or some shit. Like I, yo, that. that's the fucked up part, bro. Yo, we'd bro. always we'd get in shit. It would be like bullying and harassment. I'm like, this motherfucker. That <laughs> is cripple. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean he's bullying himself? Like, yeah. what the fuck? That's crazy. But yeah, that was. And then and then I was super. We were super bummed out. I just woke up and it was like, can't log into account. Account's been banned. I'm like, well, that sucks. We just did like. 80, 70, whatever thousand Numbers. followers yeah. in a couple of days. I'm like, that's June voice. fucking uh, <laughs> discouraging. And then we started again Big and went free. hard. And yeah, we did a million a month. That's yeah. crazy. It was wild. That's fucking ridiculous. That's insane. But that's how we kind of linked up. Basically, we, we became tight earlier on. And then, and then yeah, he was like, what can we do with this? I said, as long as you cool with whatever I decide, then we're fucking... So were you Windex that. before Side Neck then? Was that, oh, yeah. Was that, oh, yeah. that was yeah. around? Yeah. So okay. he was on tour already, and then that's yeah. when y'all crossed. Like, I, 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 I was yeah. touring with him, like, I think you came out in 2015. With 17. Kripe. 17, yeah, with Kripal. Yeah, yeah. You came Shout out, out to Kripal. Shout out and, to Kripal, uh, my best friend. I, I, I was just like, yo, I'm driving you around, and they were just like, who the fuck are you? And I'm like... You're good. Like you need weed, you need whatever. Just let me know. I'll yeah, drop so you like around. you smoke dope in the whip anytime. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm yeah. Like in with you. Let's go. That's and dope. then yeah, I just made sure that they were good in Ontario and that you know they were on time for everything and yeah, yeah. just yeah. did what I could do to help, right? And like, and then after that we just came tight. And then you did another one, and I jumped on that tour, jumped on Mercs, and then Crazy. came out here. Crazy. Yeah, Yo, crazy. I got, I got a real quick question. When I hear y'all talk about this, one of the key elements to me when I hear this, like obviously you were doing what you were doing and what you identified, you're like, oh, there's no boundaries. I yeah. can run with this. At what point were you able just to just own your situation and you were able just to be like, you know what? Fuck it. My skin's thick. I'm good with whatever. Let's roll with it. Like what um, point did you get to that place within yourself? Kind of right off the bat because mm. I, was, I was never one to really give a fuck. Like, okay. I, I just, like, I never let anything really bug me or, like, anything that anybody said bug me, like, ever. Like, like when I was, like, 14, I... Which is I rare. Went, yeah, you, like, I, I went yeah, to a redneck like school that, in the middle of nowhere, and I yeah. was the only kid with a mohawk and, yeah. like, yeah. punked out and yeah. just, like, I, I was always different. You know what I mean? So I always had people saying shit about me, right? Yeah. So it just made me just, like know that like no matter what anybody says to you it doesn't matter you're already built like this yeah like it it just it never mattered to me right so as soon as i was in the hospital bed i was like crap oh crapping well probably i kind of was actually but like (laughs) what uh, what? all them painkillers didn't get you constipated or what (laughs) but like i was already cracking like cripple jokes and stuff when i was in in the bed still he's like well i'm able to do this shit but you probably found laughter is the best way to get through it 100 (laughs) percent. like nothing and like I found that no matter what anybody says, I already said it. Yeah, yeah. So like, you can't offend me. You can't hurt my feelings. Yeah. But like, if you do say something, fuck props to you. Cause I haven't heard that yeah, yeah. and I'm going to use it. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I, I just always, I've always been like that pretty much my whole life where mm. it was like, I just don't care what anybody thinks or says. Cause like, I know who I am. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about what anybody else thinks or says about yo me, facts you know I mean? yeah, yeah, that's big man Pretty and that's so, being real like so yeah, you're that's real he's a character but you're it's also you're so comfortable with so yourself that it's still. that it's like it's yeah. a character but it's just it's an extension of you more so you know what yeah. i mean yeah almost like personifying your own inner human basically on the outside and that yeah. only made my job a lot easier yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. yo but contrarily speaking what about how do you feel when you gotta be a, you know a character and you gotta does it does it does it bug you does it affect you deep down in there that you gotta be some yeah you know we're oh, getting shit, into it you know does it affect you does it oh. does it fuck up your mind that you're creating characters for others but then you're also creating characters for yourself does so it affect you busting out that i'm a character right now is that where we're going Are you so character? Like, i mean you look <laughs> like a fucking character <laughs> so i can answer this like accordingly right you now? can answer however you want i mean you know it's hard to answer when I'm in character. Yeah, but that, that's, that's okay. That's okay. I mean... Answer like your character if, would okay. answer. Me as Windex, I don't give a blind fuck what you say about me. Mm-hmm. You can talk about my French fry hair. You can talk about my 110 pounds soaking wet body. 
You can talk about whatever. My shitty fucking voice. Mm -hmm. My shit. I don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> but deep down, if we're talking about outside of my character, <laughs> job, you fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes it got to me a little bit. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not this stupid. No. Y'all think I'm really stupid. Y'all think I, I like to pop Molly and do all this crazy ass shit. But I don't. This guy hasn't done a drug in his life. I haven't. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. The guy inside Windex <laughs> ain't ever touched a no, drug. No, I in get his it. I just want to. I want to get spicy with it, man. Like, how do you? How do you? Okay, way to go, Dan. <laughs> Yo, Thanks, fuck the, buddy. the Thanks producer. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Dan. Go follow him on Instagram. It's uh the real Dan Sig. Which is almost like the real Dan's IG. Go follow him. He's a fucking hunk, man. Yo, we're going to take a quick commercial break. <laughs> Fuck you. S smoke something, do something, whatever you got to do. We'll be back in five minutes. Peace. Okay, middle of my story. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, how does the music... How do you feel like... Listen. Yo, yo, the producer, everyone's wildin'. How does the... Fuck your music. I hate your music. Hey, no, I'm just playing. Better than Tupac. Better than Biggie. Oh. Better than Nas, better than Wu Tang. You better save this for March, dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's about to get stabbed tonight. Holy fuck! Hey, y'all never seen my introduction video? <laughs> Bitch, I'm Lil Windex. Better than Tupac. <laughs> better than Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, my music speaks for itself, dog. I mean, I wouldn't have a platinum record if it wasn't the dopest shit. <laughs> Cleaning it up. All right. How do you argue with that shit? Like, what about dog. Taylor Swift? Are you putting out new music? <laughs> Fair enough. I will be putting out new music. I've been working on new music. You've been collaborating with anyone in it's particular? Just, um, I've been writing all of his music. He's of coming oh, so back. <laughs> Bro, you can't, you can't even write with your right arm anymore. God, he still writes very deep. Um, I've been working crazy. on new shit. Here's the problem is I've been hanging out with this other guy. I don't know if y'all seen the guy who does the Eminem skits. I've been hanging out with that dumbass. Mm. And so I've just heard so much of that bullshit that it's been difficult to write music right, lately. Fair enough. But I am, I do got a lot of shit I'm working on. If you looked at my phone, it'd be a lot of hooks, a lot of verses, but nothing else. So here's another thing with me is that I just don't want to release a track if it ain't like a, a banger. Yeah. If it ain't like one that I think is going to do good. I, I have so much songs in my phone that I just not going to release because. So much songs. Just. <laughs> Is my English shit? Sorry, Dan. Why don't you speak bilingual I'm to this me? Guy's a rapper game. Speak I have so many songs. Yeah, yeah. In my no, I'm just, I'm just so. fucking with you, but so um, you got hooks. I got hooks. I got verse. I got all this shit, but it's just I'm not happy with one in particular enough to release yet. I feel mm -hmm. like if I'm gonna make a comeback, it's gotta be strong. I mean, with cleaning up, making such a statement, I feel like it's almost got to be like cleaning up part two without right. being cleaning up part right. two. The right. bar's high for that. I think that's the difficult oh. part to do in it is because oh. I'm just like one of those perfectionists kind of, you know, so to say. No, for sure. And so it makes it really difficult to release a track yeah. without being really ecstatic about it. Yeah. You got to be fully committed. That was a big word. Yeah, that, was, that was a couple yeah. syllables. You yeah. got to be fully committed. You don't want to, like, yeah. yeah, of course. You want to go all But in. I got some shit I'm working on. Yeah. And you dropped a joint with Kripal, with Sauce 2. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. We dropped yeah. Sauce 2. Yeah. Before I, we throw it out there, Kripal's one of my dogs. He's one of my best friends in the entire world. Sorry, buddy. That's um, pretty ignorant, but it's okay. <laughs> and he produced a lot of my tracks. He said Kripal, not Cripple. <laughs> well, he, he doesn't complain when we park front row, I'll tell you that. Yeah, Kripal can't park front row. Yeah, fuck him, yeah. But, yeah, no, we did drop Sauce Two, which was obviously a sequel to Sauce One. Yeah, really? And fuck off, Sinek. God damn it, dude. Go park in handicap. I, I did. Okay. He did, man. That's why he's <laughs> here first. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I, I'm doing my shit. I'm working. Yes, I'm planning on making a comeback, but it's got to be the right one. Oh, fair. Well, I'm interested to see what you uh, do when you. Are uh, you? I am. Are you really? Of course. Okay. I'm okay. always interested in what people do, whether it's. Cap. Comedy character, <laughs> by what, what, what? what yeah. was it? This no, I am. Is, is Windex? Are you? Are you, I am. Are you Greek by chance? Greek? Because if you saw my big fat Greek wedding, they spray Windex on everything. Did they? Shout out to yeah. them. Man. Yeah, yeah. They say like you know. I was an extra in the spray movie. Windex on it. I was cleaning it up. <laughs> I was like, if you've seen the movie, you'd know. I, I've I seen might, it. I've I seen might, it, but I don't remember. So clearly, I might sue you gotta them. Gotta revisit that shit. Didn't resonate. I might sue them. I just thought I he was, was asking if you went Greek. I might hit him. I might hit him with a motherfucking lawsuit. Then. <laughs> Y'all using my shit everywhere. My brand. All right. I mean, sure. yo, Windex just uh, what, should pay me, bro. So, I swear to God, I made that a cool at the time when Windex came out. 
You know how many kids I had hit me up in videos being like, yo, fuck the ops. And it'd be like glass cleaner from the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy's beefing, this guy's beefing even, detergent. Bro, I'm not even <laughs> joking, bro. Or, or how many kids came to shows with a bottle of Windex? Yeah, that's genius. That That'd be a good marketing And they sprayed it out you in didn't the get air sponsored? like Yeah, that shit was fucked. You didn't get sponsored? Yeah, the fucking ammonia boys, like the Kia and boys you know, over here. <laughs> Bro, the talks were like, at the time with the management, they'd be like, yo, do you think Windex is going to like create a lawsuit? I'm like, bitch, I'm making them cool again. Like, what the fuck you mean, dog? You guys don't have no kind of like corporate sponsorship going on? Like, that's No, nah, but I should. You should, dog. They should hook me up. They should. I got to find myself in the alter ego, man. I've been DJing for a minute. I still have a date, Yo, right? let's not be fucking lying still- to the audience. We found it. It was during our yeah, I- five minute <laughs> off camera yo, segment. Say, why don't you just say it? <laughs> tell, say, tell us. Say what it is. Drop it. I gotta find myself an alter Negro. Hey! There we go. There we go. There we go. And, and, and is that the name? Man, well, Junk came up with your like, alter ego. Alter Negro, but I'd be. Like, I didn't come I, up I, with the name. Whoa, no, no, whoa! I came up with the name, but you came up with the concept. I came up you with the concept with of what you're gonna wear and how, your whole thing. So, I, I so what are you rocking? You know, I'd be a priest at an altar. Alter Negro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> that's hot. That's hot, man. man. Bro, I'm like, I'm down with that. Yeah, I'm down I love with it. That. <laughs> that's hard. I Maybe it. you can do a song with Windex. Let's get it. Hey. Speaking oh, of let's corporate, tour. I'm ready. Speaking <laughs> of speaking of sponsorship, yep. just because it fucking rattled my little brain, you got your own vape juice. Yeah, it's now it's right behind you. You maybe help him, Windex. You yeah, I can help the little cripple boy. I but yo. Have- what, what what's it called? Oops. It's just side neck e juice. It's okay. uh, made by uh, Cold Turkey Vape Juice out of uh, Ontario. Turkey. Okay, wow. shout out to them. And you can so get it uh, Cold Turkey Vape Juice dot com okay. or uh, Damn Side Neck. Well, yeah, Damn Side Neck dot com. This one is. What's uh, the flavor? Roadkill. <laughs> oh shit! No. <laughs> Yo, yeah, the sorry. next flavor is definitely gonna be that. <laughs> Ooh, that's for damn sure. This? No, this one's green apple watermelon, and then I got another one that's pineapple guava. Oh shit! Okay, ah, cool. Shit. <laughs> and then, yeah. yeah. No, my next one's gonna be roadkill. I'm sorry. Because that's a fucking genius want, idea. Yo, that's, 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 that's a genius, genius idea. idea. Like roadkill yeah. vapes. Like, yeah, that's you're sick. welcome. Just I like that. We're all friends here. Play, yeah. shit, We're all friends here. Yeah, Alter man. boy, I, I'm here. I, I'm the brand creator. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Junk is on fire. Yeah, he's killing. Yeah, yeah that's night. such a good one. I get 12 streams on my music, but I'm good at creating brands. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. My stepson does better than you. <laughs> yeah, but at least I'm respected. Um, oh, so Dante respected. Well, I, don't, I don't know your stepson. I think he was talking yeah. about Windex. I have yeah. a quick one before you, we get deep. Yeah, let's it. go. Uh, side neck, were you, were you always left-handed? Or were you no, right-handed? I was right-handed before. Damn. So you know you're like, well, not ambidextrous. But you can use the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like at first it Yo, felt invisible like invisible so- coming up with the bag. Zesty, yeah, like and like and at first, today. at first it felt like somebody else was jerking me off. But now, it, now it's all me. <laughs> You're the stranger Windex. all the time. <laughs> yeah, like now it's just me. But like honestly, like I tried the Yo, whole. This thing's heavy. Well, like, yeah, it's like 25 yeah, yeah. pounds. Bro, I think no, everything's heavy for you, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. shit. Careful, careful. Woo. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening oh. anymore. <laughs> what, what, one more. I don't know what's happening Side anymore. Neck. One more thing, one more just thing. Just Yo, wait, let me touch on that <laughs> for a second. Touch oh. on something, buddy. So don't fucking touch that. nothing. <laughs> know that, but let me touch oh. on the, the left hand thingy. Oh, man. This oh. bitch ass, I'm telling you. This motherfucker can't even tie his dumbass shoe after 10 fucking years with his other hand. Man. And I sh- we had an argument one night and I said, bitch, how can you not tie your fucking shoe with your other hand? How have you not learned that in 10 years? And what did I do? I did it within five minutes with my opposite hand. With, yeah, but then I, I just tucked the strings and put my shoe on Fuck, in two tucking minutes. Your string. I'm just talking in general. Like, <laughs> bitch, I, I, how the fuck you not learn to tie your stupid ass shoe? I just don't know why you don't have Velcro joints. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he should have wheelies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I'd break my neck again. Yeah, <laughs> but yo, I dead I gotta, ass. I the worst thing ever. You can't wheelies. Let's go. Let's Let's go. go. One more thing. What, what, do you, what do you shave with? You got the cue ball going on. I got the eight ball. Bic Razor. Bic Razor. Every other day. Can we do a comparison? Yo, Mine, mine's stubbly right just, now, bro. We've, we've done like 15 product placements. Right. Yo, he said, I got the cue ball. Get in the camera. I, get in the camera. Get in the camera. All right, all right. I, I got I to check this out. No, what are you guys doing? Rubbing heads? Which ones? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all the rubbing heads. <laughs> Which heads are we talking? 
that's Yo, rub his yeah, head yeah. too, man. Let's yeah, yeah, come yeah, on. Might as well. See? Three times for good luck. Oh, his is really smooth. He has a nice tip. You just did yours today, didn't you? I did. It's fresh. And yeah, yeah. You know what I use? I use a Braun. Series 8. Yo, those ones are lit. Yeah, Series those 8 razor. Good. Yeah, some, some I, saw the, I saw Get the Rock the camera, uses dog. the same Get one. The camera. Oh, shit. Back in the camera. I, I I know the Rock uses the same one, so I'm like, for Christmas, my wife got it for me. Yeah. And then I do a little cleanup with like a like a Fusion 5 after. Yeah. I'm like I real I, OCD with it. I just use Fusion 5, like straight Bic razor. Yo, is nobody going to catch Fusion on to the fact he called him Q-Ball sure. and he called himself 8-Ball? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. What that, you, was good. Uh, that, was guys, a, that was amazing. There's this zingers. Is, I mean, everything's going over my head right now. I'm just zingers saying, man, the one thing Deep. I'm happy that's not going over my head is that thing, dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. This is real hair. Do you see me pulling on it? Crazy. It doesn't move. Dog, I think about uh, that fucking McCain's commercial, that little kid eating the French fries. <laughs> with the glasses? Yeah, I take him like 10 minutes. He's We're the only there, ones like, old enough to remember that. Keep that in mind. Yeah, sorry, we're not we're all 60, strong, dog. strong, silent type. Did you watch that fucking commercial in black and white with a little antenna fucking popping on TV? Yeah, well, you know, that, we're not all 60 pounds either, so. Oh, <laughs> guys gotta remember. Yo, like, I'm middle-aged over yo, here, man. I'm like You ever watch dog. a women's strawweight <laughs> fighting event? The other event? is your fucking hair. Strawweight? <laughs> fucking you ever seen a strawweight <laughs> women's boxing or what? Fucking scarecrow <laughs> boxing league. Like, <laughs> scarecrow boxing crow- league. Yo, um, oh, shit, dog. <laughs> yo, let's talk about Scarecrow Boxing League. <laughs> Can we talk about that they're, first? <laughs> they're, they're, all the competitors are outstanding in their field. <laughs> oh, okay, you know okay, I mean? okay. That's it. They're killing no, it. No, they're no, fucking no, really no. killing it. The German, no, that the German is fine. Body, I do oh, music. Streets need Check a it out. body, dog. Check it out. Holy <laughs> shit, my dog caught a body with that. Caught, yeah, body. Just... caught a couple bodies. Oh I do music God. as a side I'm hustle. I'm an accessory hustle. to murder right really? now. Really? Cool. How many albums Bars. do you got? How many albums have you sold? <laughs> Probably... Many, like 12 or something. How many like platinum that? records you got? Could you even I don't have ri- any platinum records, but I got mad respect. Could you even rhyme with yeah, philosopher? Yeah, that doesn't matter these days. <laughs> rhyme yeah, with, rhyme with philosopher. This is true. This is true. One word. That's why I'm out here doing interviews on the street. <laughs> <laughs> a guy yesterday is like, are you Junk, the rapper, with a song Make a Million? I'm like, yeah. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm out here interviewing. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a million. Shit, yeah, trying to get, trying a, million to get a million views. views. Like a million dollars junk, of views. one word that rhymes with philosopher and go. Uh, kilometer. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. That was Little quick. Wow. Kilometer, barometer, speedometer. You know what I mean? Damn, minged octave nerve. Oh, Ooh, whoa. <laughs> that okay. was whack. What the Anyways, fuck? Is I'm that? not a rapper. Uh, let's, <laughs> next question. Not a rapper. Yo, not a rapper. Yo, speaking <laughs> of rap, though. Yes, let's get back to it. Speaking of rap, let's do this one for the culture right now. Neck. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Motherfucking Tony Yayo. Yes. Yes. Talk yeah. to us. Tell us about Tony Yayo, dog. <laughs> Tell us about Tony Yayo. Coconut. What? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, man. Fucking scared of the Coca-Cola. Come down to Coconut. <laughs> Yo, um, I was fortunate enough to, um, get introduced to him. Mm-hmm. Um, what you fucking? What a guy, him? man. I'm just trying to be talk serious talk here. Talk. <laughs> just cut it. We'll just cut it. Just go again. I'm here for the seriousness, dog. Let's go. Um, so I was fortunate enough to get introduced by uh, Peter Jackson, good buddy of mine. Yep. He introduced me to shout him. Shout out Peter Jackson. Yeah, shout out Peter Jackson. Um, and he introduced me, and like I got along with Tony like instantly. Yeah. And then he was like, "Yo, what the fuck happened to you?" <laughs> and then like I was just like, "Yo, you want to hear the crazy story?" Yo, he thought he got heard? shot up too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the only one. Yeah, and like. I told my story and he was just like mind blown and then we just kicked it all night yeah. and chilled out and then next thing I know he's on Vlad TV talking about me being like yo about Canada he's yeah, like yeah. this guy side yeah, neck and I'm like wait what that's that's what that's you remember crazy. about Canada yeah. side neck you like but you're I, unique as fuck. Yeah, thank right, you, right, thank you. Right. You got the lumberjack plaid on, dog. Like you're literally <laughs> yeah. like a mascot. Yeah. 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 Man. Scottish punk shit. He's right? got yeah. that right, hot, right? hot topic final boss shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, French fry. Yes, hot topic final boss shit. <laughs> fuck dog. Sakes. There's too many one liners today. It's gonna be a longer episode. <laughs> Yo, um, but for real, that's that's crazy, dude. I I listened to G Unit when I was like fourteen years old. Yeah, who did? You know, right? Like yeah. that, like wearing G Unit shirts and like 
Listen you to that. Old Gene at Pump Reebok? Oh my did you God. Have those? No, Gene I did white not. White beaters with the, the yeah. tops, man. Yeah. With the little red and blue going on the side. <laughs> Damn, no. that's so it's, get that so it's oh, like shit, man. <laughs> for him to even like acknowledge yeah. me yeah, is like mind blowing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then him being like the Coca-Cola or Coconogan or however he. Yeah, he he he, yeah he's like yeah. the Coconogan. <laughs> he's like, but like apparently, like when they were in the thing, like. Every time they would see a moose uh, sign, he'd be like, "Yo, side neck, side neck!" <laughs> like every time. He's gonna think about side necks and moose for the rest of his life, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like crazy man. for me to have an impact on somebody that had such a huge impact, impact on me yeah, yeah. when I was a kid is like mind blown. Yeah. You know, like that's you guys why still talk and shit, or not really. Like he's kind of like, like I. It's not like I reach out to him right, or anything, right? right? Like. He's busy. I'm not going to. It was gonna... just a share. The, the, it was just a moment. Yeah, yeah. But like, that's cool. I'm, I'm sure if we, like, cross paths again, he's going to rem- n- remember who I am. The moment right? Canada comes up, he's thinking about his dog. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it's kind of like... cool, too, when you yeah. think about it. Yeah. It's like you, you, you've you've uh, assigned yourself to this animal. <laughs> right? Like anybody thinks of a moose, you're like, it's that next. <laughs> when, right? I, when I see, literally, that's the only fi- first thing I think of. 100%. Uh, on the TV or whatever, or see a moose in real life, and Sodnik hit one of those, or, <laughs> they hit one of, or they hit him or whatever, but yeah, for sure, that's uh, crazy. No, yeah. yeah, I think you hit it, kind of. No, too. that motherfucker hit me. Well, it was a little... Didn't you break its back? It hit you, bro, yeah. I know this. Well, right. you had to kind of hit it to break its back, dog. Yeah, but it hit me and broke my fucking neck. Who, who's <laughs> and alive? my back. Who's alive? <laughs> Definitely me. not that moose. Fuck that moose. <laughs> who yo, who? Yo, <laughs> piss on the, mur- on the moose's grave, motherfucker. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, for real, you should have kept the moose... That shit and been like a so like for the real, reason I the was. moose was on the road is no, because it was so full of ticks. That's, yeah. It was That's trying to shake people. off all the ticks. Fucking ticks yeah. So yeah. like <laughs> when th- when I from the scene of the accident, like in the ambulance, up until like the flight all the way to Toronto, they were picking ticks off me. Because like I was just like covered in filled with them. Yeah. You know what, dude, you no, I said fucking man, TikTok I... over here. <laughs> no. You gotta do a you TikTok you... about that. Imagine getting hit by a moose and then yeah, you got hit with the moose after. Like, dude. <laughs> Sorry, that invisible. Sorry, tick. Could ticks have Lyme Lyme's disease? You guys. Yeah, it's Lyme disease. Yeah. They br- yeah, they yeah, give you yeah. Lyme's disease, yeah. right? You're you're, lu- you're lucky. On oh, this very. One. Cool. Get this motherfucker. How many? Yo, drop that though, Windex. What you were saying? Because that shit's crazy. That's actually crazy that he said the TikTok thing. Because when you think about it, you hit a moose covered in ticks. And what did you get big on? TikTok. Oh, yeah. oh, that's fucked. And you're talking about these ticks, and now you're big on TikTok. Whoa. TikTok needs to sponsor Whoa. us. That's poetic as fuck, man. Dude, Yo, TikTok, get at us. He's you know? dropping <laughs> TikTok right now. That's crazy. TikTok. Oh, so God. every time I pill one of these out, yeah, he's talking man. about ticks. Jeez, this is too much. He's <laughs> TikToking. Holy shit, this is getting deep, bro. It's getting even, too deep. Yo, Bush did 9 11 for sure. Yeah. Now <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Sorry, we're getting, I thought we were getting deep. Man. Yeah, I mean. That's a little too deep. Is it? Shout out to my man, Hungry. If you want to get deep, follow my boy, Hungry. Shout out to my uh, follow my boy. I am hungry. If you want to get real deep and lost in the matrix. <laughs> oh, the oh fuck! Shout out to hungry. <laughs> yeah, crazy hungry. Hungry will hit you with like the yo. It's March third with the third fucking March. building with the third this. And if you take six minus three, it's three. It's fucking. And if you <laughs> Kendrick verse, eh. yo, we love you, hungry. We're oh, I love. <laughs> That's 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 my fucking homie right there, household man. Let's go. Yeah, it's but, not uh, your homie. That's his homie. Yeah, yeah not I yours, get it. man. Sign it. Yo, but speaking of, because <laughs> speaking of TikTok and viral and people appreciating you and making an impact, yeah. check this shit. Yeah. Gucci Berry. I don't know if you if you're aware of this man. Another viral motherfucking wild ass dude. Got his face tattooed on his chest or stomach on or his stomach. Stomach, right? Yo. Yeah. It, yeah it was, it was, Why? Wasn't How? It a dare? Well, it was me and him fucking around on TikTok Live. Yeah. And I'm like, so when are you going to get Swing to the Sack Sunday? Because that's what he does every Sunday. He gets hit in the nuts, right? By some random thing like a five pound weight, 25 pound weight, whatever it might Man, be. And the cost of fame sometimes. Yeah. Bro. And like, Houdini. so I was like, when are you going to get that tatted on you? He's like, oh, I'll get your face tatted on me. I'm like, okay, that just turned a fucking 180. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, sure. And he's like, yeah, but you got to get me tatted on you. I was like, all right, yeah, I'll do that. Let's get it. This motherfucker calls me on FaceTime, like, probably three days later. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hey, side neck, look what I'm doing. And he's in a tattoo shop getting my face tatted on his stomach. And I'm like, <laughs> wait, so you Yo. got a Gucci Bear tattoo? Yeah. Where is it? Right here. Is it his face? It's his whole body. Oh, my oh. God. You want to see it? 
kind of. <laughs> I got dropped my pants. <laughs> you need help? That's for the Patreon Only right the there, man. That's, you guys got to yeah. pay we'll for save, that we'll shit, We'll post man. a picture. Right yeah, we'll, we'll post a picture. picture. We'll wow, post look picture. at that. That's crazy. <laughs> um, So, I, because it was a joke. It was like we were just fucking around on live. And then he called me and he's like, so when are you getting yours? And I'm like, I guess soon. Oh, and like, it was like a week later, I got his whole thing with colon crusher on his stomach, like right here, his That's whole insane. body. Like, it's on my thigh so I can hide it. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Big Gucci Berry. Fucking love that guy. He's hilarious. I watch Swing to the Sack Sunday every Sunday. That's it's, like, it's it, hard to watch. No, it's not. It's no, but I mean, like, it's hard thing. to watch because it's like, ooh. Oh, oh yeah. Like, it is, it is the best thing ever as long as you, like, see Getting people in pain. Yeah, yeah, like, it's yeah. hilarious. Does he have any kids? Yeah, he has a bunch of kids. Yeah, so he work. obviously started really? this after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? yeah. He, he's like he's trying. He's doing alternative vasectomy. vasectomy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, he's, he's trying money. to not have actually. Any he more made kids. money yeah. off getting a fucking like, vasectomy. You know right? those like medieval times mace things, like the ball with the spikes and stuff. Like I've seen, he's done bows to That's the nuts. He's fucked. done a little bit of bowling balls, everything. Bricks off the top of a building. Like the guy is <laughs> right. I, I like he did a cinder block a couple weeks ago. I think off he the... posted a picture of his nuts one time. Low key that oh. All emotional. right, man. Windex. Yeah. What's next for you? Pizza. A oh, commercial oh, oh, break. Oh, taking another commercial break. All right, that's, that's what's next, next to me, pussy. That's, that's what's next. <laughs> <laughs> stay, Quick question for you though, dog. You know, I'm just like watching you and listening to you, and I see how you moving and everything, and I'm wondering. How does it ever feel? Like, do you ever wonder, like, yo, dog, authentic me? How do you feel about me? Does that ever just, like, hit you? Can you elaborate on the question more? Yeah, so when you're dealing with somebody, you know what I mean? And they love, they love you, dog. You said this is not... Are we talking about fucking? <laughs> no, we ain't talking about fucking anymore. Oh, okay. You wish we were. No, no, no. I'm just wondering, like, when you deal with people, like, on the day-to-day, -day, and people run up to you, and they're like, Lil Windex, and they're your biggest fans biggest fans i've seen it i've even seen it though even today does it ever like hit you in the heart when you're like yo you gotta take that hair off when you get home and you look in the mirror <laughs> how does that feel yeah sometimes it does hit me i made a song called identity theft which explains it okay. kind of you know what fuck it we're busting out right now answers i'm great at playing who i want to play but sometimes you get too deep into a role and it will affect you when people don't know that the role is a role. Mm. I even experienced that about half an hour ago. I like your leather jacket. <laughs> nice ass. Anyways. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so sometimes you play in a role too, so deep and you're so good at playing the role. I'm, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I think I'm good at playing my role. Yeah. That motherfuckers don't know it's real. Yeah. And sometimes I think that will get to you. Yeah. I mean, in a way, it gets to you like, damn, you're doing a good job, great job. But sometimes it would get to you like, for instance, when I'm on tour with like Merc or something, and we go do a meet and greet, yeah. and I'm chilling as me, not in my role, and it's like, all right, meet and greet time. Merc's like, all right, let's go out. And I'm like, fuck, hold on a second. <laughs> Gotta do my shit. Yeah. Gotta do this. Gotta do this. Now I gotta switch my voice and I gotta become this person. Then sometimes after a while, that will get to you where you're like, fuck, I wish I could just go out there and be me. Yeah. Or like you do a meet and greet and somebody comes up like, yo, man, you want some of this Molly and shit? And I'm like, nah, that's, that's not really actually me. That's just like my character. And they're disappointed or something? Yeah, and they're like, oh, shit, like I thought that's what you were like. And I'm like, nah. And so it's like instances like that. That will definitely kind of get to you where it's like, fuck, I wish you just liked me for me. Yeah. But at the same time, I am thankful that I'm good at what I do to mm -hmm. the point where people do believe that. Like I had homie over there say when you came out and kind of announced that it was a role. It was like, damn, what the fuck? My soul crushed. You know what I mean? You think it's so real yeah. to the point where, yeah. Well, so, yeah, to answer it sometime for sure, it did get to me. But not like to the point where like I'm like fuck that character I hate that shit I never want to do it again. It was, yeah, it was yeah. more so just like, hey guys, <laughs> I'm also me, right? <laughs> like here I am, yeah. and uh, yeah, I don't know if people like that or not. <laughs> How much you use in there, like? Cause I mean, do you ever lose yourself in the character? For sure. 
think so. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I think it was like losing myself to the character was the lifestyle. Mm. I think I would lose myself to it most was like, I mean, if you know me for me, you would know, like, like for instance, when I moved out here and shit, I was just like blowing my money, going to the strippers all the time, hanging out with people I normally wouldn't hang out with, just drinking and partying all the time and doing this shit, which wasn't really me. Cops so Range think, Rovers and shit. Yeah, cop, my first whip was a Range Rover, bitch. <laughs> Uh, for yeah. real though, yeah. but yeah. that's real shit. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's a thing. But like, it was like, I think that part was where it was getting too deep into it. Where it's like, I've done it. I've I've been playing this character for so long, and I've played it for countless hours, like hours in a day, as this character to the point where you start like, uh, excuse me, living that <laughs> living that lifestyle too. Where it's like you just almost develop. It's like a uh, Jim Carrey playing Andy Kaufman in yeah, that movie. Yeah, in, in uh, Man on the Moon. Yeah, mm-hmm. where he got or, so deep into it where even the point of everybody on the set hated had, to, him. had to call him by Andy. Yeah. Yeah, had yeah. to do this, and it's like, yeah. I feel like mentally that can definitely get to you. It's like method doing, acting almost. Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And when you're doing it day out, in and out, <laughs> because at the time I was doing it day in and out, and in and out, and then going on tour, and then the whole tour is you as this person. Yeah, I can definitely get to you. And, and the lifestyle was the main thing which yeah, was yeah. getting to me. Where it's like, I just used to... I'll tell a funny story. When Windex first blew up, I had Academics, Joe Budden, Universal Music, Cash Money Records, everybody hollering at me. It was salmon season. <laughs> and I was just fishing like a motherfucker. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shit you know, bro. Yeah. I, was out the, I was out of the fishing hole at like four in the morning. Meanwhile, I'm getting like a interscope like, hollering and shit. Around. Yeah, I had a message like, "Yo, academics and Joe Budden just talking about you." I'm like, "Shit, dude, I just had a spring on my line. Like, fuck out of here. I don't give a shit." That's hard. So it's That's like it, yeah. that was my previous <coughs> lifestyle, and I remember actually when 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 the news article came out, "Who is Lil Windex?" It came out and it was a picture of me as me just holding a fucking bass or a catfish. That <laughs> Yo, I just that's caught. hard, bro. I was catching a catfish, and I was like, "God damn!" But that was uh, that's where the lifestyle kind of switched. Mm. And that part got to me. I don't know if I'm veering off the question. No, no, at all. Because yeah. it's like, it's interesting you say that. Good question, man. Yeah, no, it's because, excellent. Yeah, because it's like almost like where people trying to expose you for who you were. Like, yeah. was this whole thing and you had to decide how much of your real self mm. you show? Like, is this yeah. like an, its own struggle? And also it pissed me off at the time because I wasn't trying to expose who I was at the time. And yeah, motherfuckers exactly. are posting pictures of me catching catfish. And I'm like, bitch, shut up, dude. Yeah. I'm like, God damn it. Yeah. I'm, I'm Lil Windex right now. Like, yeah. fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say who is the real yeah. Lil Windex, you know? And and he has kids and a, and a, and a baby mama yeah, see, and brothers. What, yeah. And I'm like, bitch, shut up. Like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make these people, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm trying to be this character so well that it's so believable. Mm-hmm. And it was. Mm-hmm. You know how many times I've been approached in like a Walmart being like, yo, are you Lil Windex by chance? Or you look a lot like Lil Windex. I'm do you like, say no? Sometimes I do. Yeah. About like yeah. 60% of the time, yeah. they'll say no. <laughs> yeah. They'll be like, yo, have you ever been told you look like Lil Windex? I'm like, yeah, actually I have, but uh, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh shit, sorry, man. I'm like, yeah, cool, anyway. That's crazy. Yeah, but it was also nice because I've just been like. Yeah, I was gonna say it must be nice to not feel to plausible yeah, deniability too. I, I kind of have like a bit of antisocialness to me mm. and like awkwardness, so it's like that part was kind of nice where I could just take it off and just be me and and, and not everybody would always recognize it. Yeah, yeah, and you're so, lucky. Yeah, this bitch, this <laughs> bitch, yeah, in other fucked. words, they I, could be dude, like, are I, you side neck? It's like I don't even gotta ask. This yeah. motherfucker look like. You mean him. the wig doesn't work for you? You no, can't just throw it on. Are you, you side neck? I'll sign your chest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's like, no high. Oh, yeah, so that was nice being able to transform out Good of it question, at the same man. time. But it definitely would cons- it definitely did consume me a bit, for sure. Yo, I got another one. I got a little banger yeah, to you add on to that. Yo, you throw that Put a little banger in there? Yeah, yeah. Now, the music you make, because you're, you know, it's, you're talking about Molly and f- Party and Bitches, yeah. all this shit. Which a lot, of, a lot of rap music is like that, you know what I mean? But... Because you were saying things affect you and you're playing a character. How does it affect you making that music, though? Because one thing is playing a mm. character, but putting out the music, mm. someone might just discover you and not ever, you know, know that it's a character. So yeah. I, I I personally find, like, I don't listen to that type of music. I, I find it's, like, detrimental to the youth, you know what I mean? I, I do different kind of music where... You know, it, there's a spot for everything, but do you feel like, as because since it's not really who you are... Did, does that affect you, the type of music you put out as Little Windex? Because you're talking about shit that isn't, you know, it's character-driven music. Yeah. Because for me, 
when I hear music that is really authentic done like that, it's, I still, I'm bothered by it. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm just like, fuck it's, it bothers me. Right. Cause youth are so corruptible. Right. And, and we're all on this 24 seven listening and watching shit and people don't know what's real or, you know, anymore. So I feel like, does that have an impact on you? Does that make you feel a certain way? Um, yes and no. I don't know if it's as much as the substance of the music or what I'm talking about. I mean, here's the thing. It was kind of fun writing that music because it was so easy. It would come so easy. It was like the most dumbed down version of shit I could think Just of. Just like side neck with his cougars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I had to bring um, it back real quick. Full so circle. like, uh, I mean, I guess, like I said before, how people would believe it, that shit kind of would get to me. Right. But it was it was fun for me to write that music because it was like uh, writing a movie. It's like shit that isn't necessarily real, yeah. but I could still write You're murdering it. people in a movie. Yeah, is not real. I could real. talk about anything I really wanted, mm-hmm. but the the uh, the side of it that I didn't like was how dumbed down it was and how the shit I was talking about. Right. Where in, inside I'm like. I can do so much better than this, but nobody knows it because they want to hear this shit. Mm. But then that was another, it was like another gift to it because I did music before I made the little Windex character and nobody gave a shit. And then all of a sudden I make this character that's dumbed down talking about everything that everybody's talking about. Right. Lil Pump X, X, But that's, X. that's what's scary. That's what I'm saying. It's, it bothers yeah, me. because it's Yeah. But then all of a sudden, you know, you do something like that and you make all these fucking fake songs and people believe it. And it's like, yo, this shit's crazy. I'm like, what about when I rap yeah. before I had this shit on and, and before I talked about Molly and guns and all this crazy shit? Y'all didn't give a fuck. So, uh, yeah, it's like a, there's two sides to it. It's fun. I enjoy writing it because it's easier. It's fun. It's like different beats than I would normally do. But the whack part is, is that it's dumbed down. It doesn't show right. my true skill or my true talent. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. So create creating is fun. like creating is fun like you say you can create creating anything is fun, yeah. but but then the output after you release the art that can be a little bit more yeah mind fuckery going on. But at the same time, on. some of it I did fuck with. Like yeah, personally, yeah. I'm just not like a fan of my own shit. But like some of them, I actually kind of fucked with. Like bro code. Like, <laughs> bro code. Of course, of course there's yeah. always there's always things. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I and listen some to of ignorant them, I'd shit. Be like, I'd be like, this shit is so yeah. cornball because it's like what it is. Yeah. But I was like, kind of slaps <laughs> in a way. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not scared. No. Yeah, a uh, follow up on your little banger there. It's but interesting no. because especially the climate of you know rap, media, social media numbers, right? We're talking numbers here. So I mean, like, let's be let's be honest. Someone like fucking Takashi puts up numbers. You know what I mean? So Matt I, Goop. Exactly, right? <laughs> so I guess to a point. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I get at the same time it's a means to an end. So I guess to what point do the numbers run things, and at what point? Is there an integrity thing where you're like, you know what, I'm not crossing that line for numbers. Is there a line for Lil Windex? It's a hard answer, <laughs> man. Let's say no. <laughs> Cause it's like if if it was just music in general that I did, maybe. Mm-hmm. But because I do comedy and shit, yeah. there's that part to it where it's like, yeah. I want to do really good with it. You yeah. know what I mean? And I want people to believe it and I want it to do the best numbers it can. And I don't care because I know it's satire. Yeah. I'm not doing it like I'm like, this yeah. is serious. If I think if I was like taking it super serious and I was like, yeah. okay, this is getting a bit out of hand. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah I don't know. I think, yeah, because I know it, it's just I've always done comedy. I've always wanted to do the best I can. And I personally know it's not real, and my friends know around me it's not real. So like it, yeah. I got I got a question for you. Out. What's the question? You got rapid. Quick. What's the coolest thing that's ever came out of your whole? Career? Going to the Arctic. I was going yeah, to the Arctic. That shit was 100%. cool. Going to the Arctic yeah, with cool. B Dice. Shout out my dog B Dice. He helped us with our audio. He's family of the Great House podcast too. And uh, yeah, we got to go out to the Arctic Circle out in Iqaluit in, in Canada, and it was a fucking unbelievable experience. And I, out of everywhere I've been in the world, I say I said that was one of the coolest places I've ever been. And yeah. the most like, when you get home, you're like, damn. Like, Literally yeah. one of the coolest places. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like, I got home and I just remember being like, damn, like that changed you a little bit. That was crazy. It changes your perspective on shit when you see the way they live out in places yeah. like that. A little more gratitude, huh? And I was like, motherfucking Justin Bieber in that bitch, dude. Like, I swear to God, I was the coolest place that motherfucker's ever seen in, like, ever. I came out the the airport, and there was kids waiting for me. I was escorted by security. I'm like, I'm not even that cool. Like, I was like, I don't don't got that many followers. But, 
I was cool to them. Yes, that's cool. for sure. But that was my cool experience. That's yeah. it. That's dope, man. Yeah. Well, man, that was that was a, day, that baby. was a journey. But I was gonna say, yo, I almost feel wrong. What was your cool <laughs> shit, real quickly? We got two minutes left, and not, yo, I'm sorry, then we about to wrap up, man. I was getting too deep. He was the coolest shit. We got What's to go meet Steve-O when he told us to fuck off. Fuck yeah. you, Steve-O. Fuck you, Steve-O, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Great House Podcast. Keep tapping in. Their stories will continue. Sean, Invisible, Junk, we're out here. Peace. Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>